Next, Vishwakarmana Samavartatadhi. So the Virat Purusha is created. He appears. Tasya Tvashta Vidada Drupameti. So Tvashta in that Virat Purusha pervades the egg. And that becomes the 7 plus 7, 14 Lokas is what Shastram says. We have Bhuhu, Bhuvaha, Suvaha, Mahaha, Janaha, Tapaha, Satyam. Atala Vitala Sutala Rasa Atala Tala Atala Maha Atala Patala. So, Eerad Padinang Lokangal. So, that happens inside the Virat Purusha. If you have read Narayaniyam around uh, Dashakam 6 or 7, you will get this detailed description. So, Tasya Tvashta Vidada Drupa Methi. Tat Purushasya Vishwamajana Magre. May that Purusha be visible to us. Who is he? Vedahametam Purusham Mahantam. Does it seem like a repetition? Yes, this line is a repetition, not the mantra. Because the next three lines are not a repetition. We already had Veda Ametam Purusha Mahantam out of the 18 mantras we have discussed. 16 mantras had four lines. The first line was Veda Ametam Purusha Mahantam. Again comes this uh, 20th mantra, which has Veda Ametam Purusha Mahantam. Aditya Varanam Tamasa Parastat. So if you realize that the one who is mentioned as the quintessence of the Vedas, Veda Ametam Purusham Mahantam is the Purusha. Then Aditya Varanam Tamasaf Parastat. You will even get the rays of the sun that are effulgent and you will cross darkness. Tamasaha Parastat. Tamas means darkness. Uh, have you heard of a special shop in Tirunal Veli? Irit Kadai. You know that uh, Irit Kadai means dark shop. Correct? If you tra translate Irit Kadai. Kannada Delhi Sulpa Artha Agatha Dramada Bhashe Irutu Kadai Anta Heli Dre Dark Shop Idiya Nyabo Chungu Now I cannot teach Tamar immediately Nyabka It Koli Irutu Anta Heli Dre Kathlo Kadai Anta Heli Dre Hungry Kathl Jote Iro Adho Ondo Viseshana Adhur Jote Iro Ondo Hungry Atara Irutu Kadai Means Dark Shop now, what do you get in dark shop? Halwa. What halwa? <laughs> what is it famous for? It is super famous. It is very, now they are selling online also. It, is, it shines, it is glistening, it is sticky, it is so nice. It is, what is that? You'll drool. It is so tasty. But if you keep consuming, Aditya Varnam, Tamasa Parastat. So, Tamasaha Parastat, to cross that darkness and attain the sun, you have to consume that. Aditya Varanam Tamasaf Parastat. Tamevam Vidwan Amrita Yabhavati. Whoever has understood the secret, Amrita Miyabhavati. You will get moksham. <laughs> Why? Because you will not eat that. <laughs> you want to get moksham naturally, right? Cause, uh, suppose Dwarapalakas in Vaikuntam ask, what have you done to attain Vaikuntam? Alva. <laughs> that should not be the reason. Eh? You, should have, you should have done some Brahma Vidya, Madhu Vidya. Uh, Purushottama Vidya, Dhara, all this you should have studied and then gone to Vaikuntam. Then only there will be some prestige for us also when we go there. So, Tamevam Vidwan Amrita Iha Bhavati, Nanyav Panta Vidyate Yanaya. Vidyate Yanaya here. Nanyav Panta Ayanaya Vidyate there. So, the first line is the same for both the mantras. Veda Ametam Purusham Mahantam. 16th mantra, 20th mantra, same. Veda Ametam Purusham Mahantam. First line. Last line, here it is Nanyav Pantha Vidyate Yanaya. There it is Nanyav Pantha Ayanaya Vidyate. You should not get confused between these two. Prajapati's next, which is our 21st mantra. Prajapati's Charati Garbhe Antaha. So Parama Purusha, whom we describe, resides within this prapancham. Prajapati's Charati Garbhe Antaha. Now comes a very important line. Ajayamano Bahudha Vijayate. Very important as per our commentaries. Vijayate, he is born. Bahudha Vijayate, he is born in many forms, many times. Who is the one who is born? Unborn. <coughs> See, the line is so confusing. Jayate, born. Bahudha Vijayate, many forms and many times he is born. Who is the one who is born? Ajayamano, the one who is unborn. See, it's an oxymoron. Ajayamano, not born, unborn. If he is unborn, he cannot take many births. If you say he is taking many births, then you cannot call him unborn. You should say Ajayamano and keep quiet. Ajayamano, thank you everybody, you have to leave. 
or I should say Bahuda Vijayate is born many times and leave. He is the unborn, but he is born many times. It is an oxymoron. Why? Because he is the unborn, he is born many times. In that bracket you have to put, unlike us. You have to be very careful with this word. Unlike us is very important. I will give you two examples. In Sri Vishnu Sahasranamam, you get this nama Ajaha. Ajo Durmarshana Shasta Vishrutatma Surariha. You get this line. There are many namas in this. First nama is Ajaha. What does Ajaha mean? Ajaha means various things. Goat, Brahma. In Vishnu Sahas Nama, I won't be talking about Brahma. Brahma means I have to write some other work on him. So Brahma cannot come. That is out of syllabus. Second, goat. Goat also won't come there. He may be the Antaryami for the goat. But writing one exclusive poem on goat is too much. Now, because some animal activists, I think you're looking down upon goat. <laughs> but how long can I keep talking about goat? Four words I can get for goat. That's all. So it is the meaning of Ajaha is goat and Brahma. But both Brahma and goat meaning cannot come inside Vishnu Sahasnamam. Then I have to get a third meaning. How do I get this? Parashara Bhatta says Ajaha means Narasimha. Ajaha means Nusimha. Now he has to prove. See, you cannot just like that say, I think Ajaha is Narasimha. Thank you. You have to prove that, right? How will you prove? From the word etymology you have to derive. You have to use Panini Sashtadhyayi and come to the conclusion. How? Jakaram always denotes birth. Remember this, I have told in many occasions. Ja and Ja related words will be birth related. Janani, the one who has given us birth. Jani, birth. Janma, birth. Ja, birth. Ghataja. Where, have you heard of a Kriti where Ghataja comes? You are all great musicians. Huh? Are you waiting for an award? <laughs> huh? uh, tell me. Uh, tell me. What? Sangeeta jnana mo bhakti vina sanmarga mo galayade Very situational song. Sangeeta jnana mo Bhakti Vina San Margamugalade. Technically, you're, you will be super in music. Your ragam rendering, Thala Jnanam, Swaraksharam, Mano Dharma, the way you conduct yourself on stage, the way you wear kurtas on stage, everything will be perfect. Your uh, no fault, but Sangeeta Jnana Mo. Tyagaraja says you will have Sangeeta Jnana Bhakti Vina. When you don't have Bhakti towards the composer and the Devata, Sanmargamu Galade. He never said you will not get opportunity to perform a concert or not get an award. He said Sanmargamu Galade. You will not walk on the right path. That is what he said. He never said if you, you know, some people say, I am able to do very well without bhakti. Well, who said you won't be able to do without bhakti? That's simple, right? Nobody says without bhakti you can, uh, you cannot flourish. You can. But sanmargamu galade, you will not tread the correct path. Says Tyagaraja. You can always question him. Why? How can he say? There he says, Bringi natesha samiraja. Ghataja Bhringi Natesha Samiraja Ghataja Ghataja Ghatam means pot One who is born of a pot <laughs> Agastya Kumbha Muni right Ghataja So again Ja means the one who is born Ja means the lady who is born Bhumi Ja Nayakam Bhumi Ja Ja Strilingam Ja Pullingam Ja Ja Janma Janani Jani All are Ja related Correct So birth is Ja A Ja Manga. The one who doesn't have birth You are able to get the relationship Now how is Narasimha Ja Because the same rule applies there He is not born like us See, we are born out of two factors. One, for us, it is karma. 
our own accrued karma of the present and the past janmas, that too birth means many, many aparadha sahasra bhajanam, countless births. See, we were during, you will be uh, surprised, we were there during battle of Plassey. <laughs> we were there during battle of Talikota. We were there during the attack of Ghazni in that Somna, that Gori Ghazni attack, we were there. Before in that Gupta dynasty also, we were there. See, if you apply the rule that we had countless births, we should have had, see, no gap at all. We should have had plenty of births. We were there during all times. That is why Krishna tells Arjuna, Bahuni me vyatitani janmani tavacha Arjuna. Arjuna, both of us have lot of similarities. Arjuna said, you have four hands, I have only two. What similarity? You have four hands, I have got two. What similarity? Bahuni me vyatitani janmani tavacha Arjuna. Both of us have had many, 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 many janmas. Janmani tavacha Arjuna. Janmani. Bahu Vachanam. Tavacha Arjuna. Arjuna, for you, both you and me, we have had many births. Then after that, Krishna gave a pause. See, when you pause, then what comes after that pause is very important, right? Our woman, I love That pause is that big problem, right? That, that pause. So Krishna said, both of us have had many births. Arjuna said, is it? Wait. I remember all of them, you remember none. I know what all births have taken. I took the avatar of Parashurama, as Rama, as Vamana, as Hamsa, as Dattatreya, as Kapila, as Kapila, Matsya, Kuru, I have taken. But you remember none of your births. Then Arjuna asked how? Both of us have had many births. I am able to remember none, but you are able to remember all. That is when Krishna said, the criteria for our births itself is different. Right, what is the criteria? asked Arjuna. For you it is karma, Arjuna. For me it is ichha. I am born as a result of my wish. I will choose. Now I have to be born. Who I will choose. Are us gaon mein ek bar scan karo. Haan, wo parents thoda achche hai. Now they will be my parents. So I decide. Pitaram rochayamasa tatha dasharatham ripam. The Lord scanned for some time. Chose Dasharatha as his father. Pitaram Rochayamasa Tatha Dasharatham Drupam. He chose. See, he could have chosen Kaikeyi also as his mother. He chose there also. Kaushalya should be my mother. Dasharatha should be my father. Why? Weren't there other kings as valorous as Dasharatha? He chose. Pitaram Rochayamasa. He chose Vasudeva and Devaki. Vurutti Maganai Pirandi. He chose. But we don't have the choice. <laughs> right? Will, when Vai Kuntam will Paramatma ask, okay, tell me, whom do you want to be born to? Ekbat Deklo. Uh, then we'll see all the countries, we'll see what is their uh, per capita income. Uh, water availability. Sir, sir, please don't post me there, sir. Thoda water ka problem hai. Uh, post me somewhere. Sir, idhar thoda earthquake aata hai. Don't post me there. So we will choose whether we like her or not, she's my mother. Whether I like him or not, he is my father. Whether they like me or not, I am their son. We have to adjust and live. Correct? So Krishna says, Bahuni me vyatitani janmani tavachar juna. So both of us have multiple births. The criteria is different for you. It is karma. For me, it is ichha. So if through karma we are born, remember this. Human beings, we have to be born through a mother. There are various assisted reproductive techniques. You may want to fertilize the ovum outside in the laboratory and then when it is fertilized, you want to implant it in the mother. Ultimately, you have to come from the mother. There is a mother's association there. Even in surrogacy, even if the case where the child doesn't want to, should not know the mother later also, you need a mother. So surrogacy means the identity of the mother is masked. The mother is not masked. You're able to get. So you need a mother. You need to get out of her uterus and then get out of her. So that is the way everyone has to be. Even animals, it is the same. Whereas, Ajaha, who is? Also came from a mother. But the mother was insentient, pillar. He was also born, but not like us. So Ajaha means the unborn, but is born 
unlike us. So Nrsimha. So Aja Ajayamano Bahuda Vijayate means the one who is unborn and is born many a times in many forms is not born like us. Remember this. This line is very important. Ajayamano Bahuda Vijayate for which I will give you a 900 year old anecdote from Thiruvai Modi. Kannada Bhashe Matadoro Astikarglege Nanna Undu Vijnapane Tamil Modi Anta Heluva Idramida Bhashe Ali Nala Ira Divya Prabandham and Ado Undu Goshti De Henge Nau Devar Nama Heltivo Henge Purandro Upanishad and Anta Heluva Kirtanegalu Devar Nama Galu Sangamisiro A Pustaka a granthake Purandra Upanishadanta Hesri Dio thousand five hundred years back in the state of Tamil Nadu, in and around the state of Tamil Nadu, we have great mystic saint poets called Alvars put together their outpouring in chaste Tamil is called Nala Ira Divya Prabandham. Divya Prabandham, great Prabandham. Nal Aira, the number is also there. Nal Airam, Nal Andre Nalaku, Airam Andre thousand, four thousand verses. In those four thousand verses, they always distribute it as Mudal Airam, Iranda Airam, Moal Mundra Airam, Irpa. So somewhere in the middle comes Thiruvai Muri. Thiruvai Muri is a collection of thousand plus verses by Arvar. Sir, which Arvar? Ah. See, in Sampradayam, if I say Alvar, it means only Namalvar. For other Alvars, I have to put the previous word. Kulashekhara Alvar. Poigai Alvar. Periya Alvar. Tondaradi Podi Alvar. Tirumangai Alvar. But if I just say Alvar, it means Namalvar. Swami Namalvar gave us the essence of the four Vedas, Rig, Yajuhu, Sama, Atharvanam, in the form of four Prabandhams, Thiruviruttam, Thiruvasiriyam, Periya Thiruvandadi, Thiruvayamuri. In that, the fourth one, Thiruvayamuri, is called as the essence of Sama Vedam, Sahasra, Shakam, Yodrakshim, Dravidim, Brahma Samhitam, Rishim, Jushamahe, Krishna, Trishna, Tattvamivottitam, Sahasra, Shakam, Yodrakshim, Dravidim, Brahma Samhitam. So this is called Dravida Vedam. Uh, I'm not talking from the Tamil Nadu perspective. In those days itself, it was called Dra Dravida Vedam. So these thousand plus verses of Thiruvayamuri is called a Kalakshepa Grantham for us. So in the list of Granthas that we have to learn from our Acharya to even speak or give an Upanyasam, one of the four Granthas is Thiruvayamuri. So for that one verse of Nammalvar, it may be a four line or a two line or a six line poetry in Tamil. For that one verse, like this there are thousand plus verses. For each and every verse, there are close to 24 commentaries. In that we have to memorize the first six. It is called Araira Padi, Unbadinaira Padi, Paniraira Padi, Ravatinalaira Padi, Muppataraira Padi. If you memorize this along with Vedanta Deshikas, Dramido Upanishad Tatpari Ratnavali, for all the thousand verses, then there is a culmination investiture ceremony which is performed. Then you are called a beginner. <laughs> then you should have attended a sadhas. It is a very tedious process to go through. So shall we give up? Don't give up. <laughs> Read. In those verses, one of the commentators born roughly, I'll just give you a rough date, 800 years back. His name was Swami Nampillai. This Nampillai gives a very beautiful explanation to this line, Ajayamano Bahudha Vijayate. He says, Udamaikku orum orumurukkam, udayavanakku palamurukkam. That's all. This one line is enough. Udamaikku orumurukkam, udayavanakku palamurukkam. Ye kya hai sir? Yeen heli dare oru nambile oru healthy ni. Imagine a house of 1960s or 70s. There are quite a big section of people of 1990s, 2000s and 2010s here. So, we may not be able to relate to, but at least we would have watched some movies. So, imagine a black and white screen. 
it is a house of the 1960s 70s big joint family there will be three sons two daughters the three sons are married and the first son's wife she is the eldest daughter in law in tamil she is called matapunnu madani they will call her manni and imagine a set of the the pair of uh, ma- the mother in law and father in law very strict people you have to imagine you know big bindi that lady will be seated and then there'll be beetle leaves on one side that easy chair you have to imagine all this that scenario you have to imagine now the husband has left for office you know typically you will have to pack and you have to give it in that box and then you have to stand by the close of the door very close to the door you have to peep your head outside and then he'll reluctantly say bye <laughs> and then uh um, and then she also says bye and then she has to come there'll be about two three uh, uh, vessels barrels full of dosa batter that she has to make and then she'll do this and you know that tip. you have to imagine that scenario for this story i'm telling you your house could have been different that is different now she, she goes to the backyard she has to you know life is not it's so cool now first of all you have to take waters every day from the well you should know how to put that rope exactly in that place where that falls you know my acharya so orthodox they will not use any vessel they will take that vessel and the rope also with them you have to give them the well <laughs> <laughs> they'll put that and take so this lady tied that first you have to tie you know if you're not used to it, that vessel will go in that's all this lady did that mistake first time she was trying so she did not tie it properly when she put the big vessel into the deep waters of the well the vessel too fell into the waters she gave a oh sound and immediately the mother in law came after chewing the beetle leaves <laughs> imagine that state huh? she said enna ache amma kile ulundurthu adu illama ni ulla varakuda <laughs> you should not get in step inside the house without that vessel that vessel was an ashtavakra take over help in eight places it had dents it was like our car eight places dents but the mother in law said you should not get inside without the vessel this daughter in law thought what kind of a mother in law i have got she said even I, she doesn't know to swim she is like me she doesn't know to swim so she said let him come in the evening so that man comes in the evening with halwa <laughs> we have to continue the story right we started the tirunelveli halwa let's complete that as he comes he sees the backyard he sees the wife seated on that washing stone see you had no machine there will be one slope where you have to wash and generally your the the quantum of your emotions will be reflected on the <laughs> clothes so she was seated on that washing stone so this man went and asked her kenna ach your mother she said don't come without that vessel you take that vessel he said he mean he knew swimming so he jumped into the well waters went deep into it and fetched and he gave it up this lady collected it was a soap dabba <laughs> it fell a few weeks back he did she take then again he took another dip he got some aluminum plate she collected that and kept she said i you i don't need all of these i want that vessel then he put three or four more dips and then took that vessel this well is samsaram the soap dabba the plate the vessel they are all the jeevatmas for each of the objects they were immersed only once see that soap dabba fell into the waters only once but the one who had to rescue that soap dabba who is that man had to immerse himself many times so to rescue the jeevatma in from the samsaram paramatma takes one dip as matsya avataram relieves a certain few jeevatmas takes another dip of kurma avataram and releases a few more jeevatmas takes another dip as rama avataram and gives a few more release to a jeevatmas so for the possessed or the possession 
udamai that possession the immersion is only once but the one who possesses it the immersion is many times so udamai ku oru mulukku udayavanukku pala mulukku so that is why ajayamano bahudha vijayate is that like next tasya dheera parijananti yonim the wise ones with acharya anugraham do a proper research about that purusha marichinam padamichanti vedasah marichi the vyakhyanam is marichi atri pramukhanam maharishinam padam marichi nam means doesn't mean only marichi marichi is the father of yaar sir engal kenna theriyo is some pta meeting huh? who is father of whom na my who's marichi son is ayyo narayana marichi son kashyapa see marichi son is kashyapa ra We, we should understand the gotram of rama quite well so this kashyapa then we have the descendants also we have all of them so this marichi becomes very important for us i'm not going to go in detail about marichi so marichi na means marichi atri atri kulam is also very important atri had three you had soma brahmamsha soma is the son shivamsha durvasa and uh, narayanamsha dattatreya datta is was his name since he was the descendant of atri he was atreya so datta plus atreya is dattatreya so datta was his name he became a sanyasi as per our shastram ishvara samhita tells he became a sanyasi and he held a tridandam ganada pashanda the three names that vedanta deshika refers to in sankalpa suryodayam so he became a sanyasi durvasa he became a maharishi the only one left was soma from soma vamsham only we have this buddha pururavas all that entire clan will come so marichinam padamichanti vedasa marichi atri and others so both of these gave rise to great vamshams marichinam padamichanti vedasa yo deve vyo atapati hi o devas next yo devanam purohitah the one who leads all the devas who is narayana purvo yo deve vyo jatah even before the birth of the devas the nitya suris you existed as hiranya garbha so he says purvo yo deve bhyo jatah to that deva the fifth mantra which is our 23rd mantra namo ruchaya brahmaye rucham brahmam janayantah deva agre tadabruvan yastvaivam brahmano vidyat so that purusha should be meditated upon last तस्य देवा असन वशे ह्रीश्चते लक्ष्मीश्च पत्यो हु इज दट पुरुष ही इज गॉट भूदेवी एंड श्रीदेवी ऑन ईदर सैड ह्री ही इज भूमिदेवी श्री ही इज श्रीदेवी श्रीदेवी भूदेवी ह्रीश्च ते लक्ष्मीश्च पत्यो डू यू सी अ मिस्टेक हियर व्हाट मिस्टेक सर लक्ष्मीश्च पत्यो सो टू चास कम so the second cha is not and remember this i'll tell you i'll leak the answer now itself hri cha hri is bhumi devi shri is the cha is neela devi hri cha te lakshmi cha the cha becomes and so one cha is neela devi என் திருமகள் சேர் மார்பனே என்னும் என்னுடைய ஆவியே என்னும் நிந்திருவயிற்றால் இடந்து நீ கொண்ட நிலமகள் கழ்வனே என்னும் அன்னநீ தழுவி வேள் கொண்ட ஆய்மகள் அன்பனே என்னும் நிந்திருவயிற்றால் இடந்து நீ கொண்டானே என் செய்கேன் என் திருமகட்கே சேஸ் நம்மாழ்வார் வேதாந்த தேசிகா சே சமஸ்த ஜனனீம் வந்தே சைதன்ய ஸ்தன்யதாயினீம் ஸ்ரேயசீம் ஸ்ரீனிவாசிய கருணாமிவ ரூபிணீம் ஸ்ரீதேவி வந்தே விஷகிரீஷ மகிஷீம் விஸ்வதாரிணீம் தத்ருபா பிரதிகாத்தான் க்ஷமையா வாரணம்யயா பூதேவி நிஷாமயத்து மாம் நீளா யத் போக பட்டலை துருவம் பாவிதம் ஸ்ரீனிவாசிய பக்ததோஷே ஸ்வதர்ஷனம் நீளாதேவி ஹிரீஹி ச லக்ஷ்மி ஹிரீஸ்ச தே லக்ஷ்மிஸ்ச பத்னியோ அஹோராத்ரே பார்ஸ்வே நக்ஷத்திராணி ரூபம் டே அண்ட் நைட் ஆர் அந்த சைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் யூ அஹோராத்ரே பார்ஸ்வே யூ நோ தேர் இஸ் ஒன் டெம்பிள் டேங்க் வேர் யூ கேன் டேக் பாத் ஈவன் இன் த நைட் ஜென்ரலி யூ டு டேக் பாத் இன் அ டெம்பிள் டேங்க் டியூரிங் த டே 
in the night you should not take bath in the temple tank. There is a small papam associated with that. But Shastram says you have to take bath they in that temple. It is called Ahoratra Pushkarini. I don't know if you have heard in Tamil Nadu near Kumbhakonam there is a kshetram called Upiliyappan Kovil. So the temple tank is called Ahoratra Pushkarini. Even during the night you can take bath. Ahoratre Parshve. So he says Ahoratre Parshve. Nakshatra Nirupam. So Nakshatras, the stars are his body suttum vidi chudardan kannamma surya chandiralo vattakariya vidi kannamma vana karumai kollo pattukarini ila pudavai padirtha nalvairam nattanadu disil theriyum nakshatrangal adi says bharatiya right your pudavai is full of nakshatram whereas because i see the sky as your sari correct here he gets the idea from purusha suktam so he says nakshatrani roopam ashvinau vyatham Ishtam Manishana, Amum Manishana, oh grant us. Now finally we say, please grant us that Divya Jnanam. Even if we meet after 32 days for the next lecture, we should be able to remember. So, Ishtam Manishana, Amum Manishana, grant us that universal delight. Sarvam Manishana, grant us the bliss of both the worlds, Paralokam and Ihaloka Saukyam. Right? So, thereby 18 plus 6. 24 mantras of Purusha Suktam has taken us close to six and, six and a half, seven hours. Right? Now we are going to enter Shri Suktam. I'll be rendering discourses in New Jersey, Boston, Maryland, Pittsburgh, and then in St. Louis and Indianapolis in the month of July. I'm sure you would love to share this message with your friends and relatives. Dear Astika reader, I'm happy to be authoring a two-part book on the Ramayana in English. The first part is slated for release in the year 2024. The book aims to recreate and retell the Ramayana of Valmiki, conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature. To receive notifications of the book release, kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org/books. Namaskaram.